What's going on, y'all? It's your boy No Credit, and I'm back again with another one. I need you guys to do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. That being said, let's get into it. So Tennis Crawford adds a super middleweight to his sparring, to his camp. It looks like Crawford might be in camp for the Earl Spence Jr. fight because we've seen Earl Spence Jr. recently jumping rope, but he looked horrible, I'm not going to lie. He looked horrible, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyway, Terrence Crawford is preparing himself mentally, physically, emotionally, sparring with some of the best contenders prospect in the world, and Lester Martinez. Lester Martinez has an outstanding record of 16 wins, zero losses, zero draws, and 14 of those wins by KO. He has a three-star. He's a super middleweight. He's fought about 58 rounds, and he has almost a 90% knockout ratio. His knockout ratio is at 87.5%. Uh, he debuted in 2019, so he started his career in 2019. Um. He's an active fighter right now. He has a fight coming up February 23rd against Ruben Angulo. I think that's going to be a knockout. But anyway, Terrence Crawford's fight is sparring this guy. He's a sparring partner of Terrence Crawford now. Um, his nationality is Guatemala. He's from Guatemala City, Guatemala. Um, he stands at 5'11", and he has an arm reach of 72-inch arm reach. Well, Crawford has a 74-inch arm reach, so Crawford's arms are longer than his, even though he's taller and a bigger guy. You know, So this is great to see Crawford sparring, not just sparring anybody. He's sparring a natural super middleweight, a big super middleweight, and not just a natural big super middleweight, a guy bigger than Canal Alvarez, younger than Canal Alvarez, and has power, you know. So this is awesome to see from Bud. Um, who I think Bud will be fighting next, like I said before, I think he'll still fight Earl Spence in the rematch. But then after that fight, you know, I think he'll go up to 154 because he already mentioned it. He wants to go up to 154 and become a four-division world champion by fighting the likes of Zhu or whoever has a belt up there. But most likely Zhu. And Zhu just did an interview. And in his interview, he confirmed that he signed a multi-fight deal with the PBC and Amazon Prime. So, he's fighting Keith Thurman first. I don't know who all include who all are included in this multi-fight deal. Is Crawford included or the winner of Crawford versus Spence rematch included? We'll see, cause that's a great fight, Crawford versus um, Tim Zhu. You know, but this is awesome to see Terrence Crawford sparring an actual super middleweight getting ready for either Tim Zhu or Canal Alvarez, whoever comes next. But, yeah, I love to see it. But uh, what do you guys think, man? Shit, I wish they would have posted some of the sparring videos. I just want to Would have loved to see how this guy could deal with Terrence Crawford's speed and skill set, because Terrence Crawford, in my opinion, is the most skillful fighter in the sport of boxing right now. The next guy behind Crawford when it comes to skills will probably be a new A or Shakur Stevenson. Gervonta's there too, Devin's there, but the top two is Crawford and New A. But uh yeah, what do you guys think about Crawford sparring super middleweights? Would you guys like to see Crawford compete as super middleweight? I mean, Crawford, he had no intentions of fighting as super middleweight. He was going to go ahead 
and fight Charlo. But Charlo ruined the bag. Charlo ruined the bag and it made Crawford raise the bar. I mean, it could be a good thing, you know, because if he goes up there and he beats Canal Alvarez, which I believe he will, maybe he'll finally get credit because he's not getting credit. Nobody wants to give him credit for Earl Spence. Even Earl Spence himself comes out and makes excuses. So it's disgusting for the sport of boxing. But anyway, let me let me let me refresh you guys' memory how this Canal Alvarez versus Terence Crawford fight started about. It all started with Jamal Charlo. Crawford, he Ben said, after I beat Earl Spence Jr., I'm gonna go up to uh, 154 and beat on his cheerleader, Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo heard that. He said, let me think of a master plan to get out of that Terrence Crawford fight. He finds himself in the Canelo Alvarez fight. Canelo Alvarez, knowing Jamal Charlo is a small guy, he won't get full credit for beating Jamal Charlo. He still takes the fight just to stay active. And in doing that, he steps on Terrence Crawford's toes. Let me tell you how he does that. Because because Jamal Charlo went up in weight, he wasn't able to defend his belt, his WBO belt, against Tim Zhu. So the WBO immediately stripped Jamal Charlo. Then the IBF came as well. The IBF ordered Jamal Charlo to fight. His, his mandatory, Jamal Charlo refused. He got stripped of his IBF belt as well. Then recently, we just learned he got stripped of his WBC as well. So Crawford cannot become undisputed without fighting all of these dudes at 154. So Crawford looks at it like, you know what? Why don't I just go straight up to 168 and fight Canal Alvarez? Or maybe he changes his mind and go to 154, get one or two fights in, and then go for Canal Alvarez. Either way, I'm supporting Crawford no matter what. I think his skill set is just too good to be able to bridge the gap and beat a Canal Alvarez who is not a super natural super middleweight even though he's undisputed there but he's not a natural super middleweight so i believe crawford could do it but only time would tell or if the fight ever happens anyway it's your boy no credit and i'm out